Hi guys, it's Sam from Jigspace. I'm in the Vision Pro at the moment and you should be able to see uh, my Mac desktop app uh, with my jigs in it. And uh, if I switch across to the Vision Pro, my jigs. My jigs uh, are now able to be viewed by logging into the Jigspace app. Uh, to do that, uh, all you need to do is update to the latest version of Jigspace. And then when you've uh, opened uh, the latest version of Jigspace on Vision Pro, uh, go to the login screen on the side. You'll notice there's a explore menu, which has our uh, existing sample jigs you can look at and browse. Uh, but on uh, the rest of the menu, you have my jigs, team jigs, and shared with me. I'll just go to my jigs now and log in. Uh, you need to already have a Jigspace account to obviously use this, and we'll talk about that in a second. I'll just log in now with uh, my existing uh, account, and you'll see uh, all of my jigs appear here, which is fantastic. <clears throat> I'm able to uh, tap on them and uh, view them immediately in full immersive mode. Uh, here is a wind turbine. Uh, jig I've been uh, working on. I'll just put it next to my computer here so we can see everything together. And it has three steps. Uh, I'll open it here in the editor at the same time. My three steps basically go uh, into an overview of uh, the turbine, uh, some transparency here, and uh, back to the first step here. So pretty basic at the moment. And you can now uh, edit essentially and view live updates uh, together, which is really important when you're trying to get uh, your materials and colors and interaction uh, fine tuned. Uh, I'll just move that a little bit out of the way here. There we go. Now, something I wanted to do uh, was add in a image. So I'll just show you how this can work. Uh, so on this uh, second step, I'm going to add an infographic uh, to support my presentation. And I want it just on this step. Now, some other things I want to do is uh, add some text. Check out the infographic. And uh, make sure that uh, my jig can be pulled apart uh, in spatial. So Save on that. Now, in the preview here, I can go to the settings menu, uh, which has some other controls like uh, picking and, and so on. And at the top here, I'll just reset that. And click here in place. I've now got my jig back. I'll just put it on my desk here. <clears throat> And now if I go to the second step, I can see my infographic here. Uh, and oh, I can move it around because I've uh, turned on pull apart. And uh, you'll notice the text as well. If I uh, move some things out of the way here. Now you notice the text uh, updated to say, check out the infographic. Uh, there's my infographic. Uh, and uh, these settings here um, are now all uh, accurately represented in my jig. Uh, so it's as simple as that. Uh, let's just bring that back down. Now, if you're in multiple teams as well, so some uh, companies have, say, uh, an account set up like a kiosk for trade shows and then a master account for everything else, uh, or multiple brands, uh, some other customers, you just tap up here on the logo and you can uh, click here and other uh, teams that you're in will appear uh, in that list as well. And that's how you can uh, switch from viewing one team uh, to another team. And that's it. That's our demo of my jigs uh, and team jigs. Uh, it works exactly the same as the Explore tab. You now just have all your options here. Uh, you pull down to refresh. Uh, it all loads uh, nice and quickly. And we'd love to hear your feedback. Um, so please update uh, the jig space uh, spatial app on Vision Pro to the latest version to get access to this and uh, let us know how you go. Thanks for watching. Talk soon. Bye-bye.